Beloved child of God, the time has come for you to embark on a new journey. A transformative chapter has been unfolding in your life, and the door you've been seeking is about to be revealed. The wait will soon be over, as the universe eagerly anticipates showering you with the blessings it has in store. You are now in the final stages of this transformative period. Take comfort in knowing that the lessons you needed to learn have become deeply ingrained within you. The habits you've worked to overcome are now a thing of the past, and the energies you've released have been freed from your mind, heart, and spirit. These final moments before your ascension will require unwavering faith, patience, and humility from your soul. What awaits you on the other side of that door is beyond anything you could have ever imagined. Prepare to be amazed, for the warrior within you has earned a divine surprise. Beloved child, hear the voice of the Lord speaking directly to you. This is not just a message, but a divine command. Listen closely as the Lord pours out his heart, for his words have the power to transform you profoundly. You belong to the Most High God, and His Spirit lives within you. This Spirit is a supernatural power that you must learn to embrace. When you are unsure, the Spirit will grant you wisdom. When you struggle with fear and anxiety, the Spirit will usher in peace and love. And when you are tempted to stray from the path, the Spirit will guide you back to God's will. You have nothing to fear, for you have entrusted your life to the Lord. The Spirit will comfort you, intercede for you, and advocate for you. Today, remember that as a child of God, you must walk by faith and not by sight. Do not let anything cause you to stand still or sit down on your faith, keep moving forward. You may not understand everything now, but stay determined to trust in God. You may face frustrations, but you must not give up during the process. Beloved child of God, all the financial blessings you need to manifest your highest expression are on their way. Imagine how you would feel if you already had everything you need, and hold on to that frequency. Move through your day with an aura of knowing that it will all unfold in perfect divine order. Remain fully invested in your goals, and face each task with a positive attitude, knowing that it is leading you closer to your dreams. Beloved child, the Lord is speaking directly to you. His message has the power to transform you profoundly. Embrace the spirit within you, walk by faith, and trust in the divine plan unfolding before you. The blessings and surprises that await you are beyond your wildest dreams. Prepare to be amazed, for the warrior in you has earned a divine reward. Beloved child, you have been doing the right thing, enduring with a smile, praising me through the pain, worshipping instead of worrying, and being kind to those who are unkind to you. Get ready, because greater things are coming. I am about to do a new thing. New opportunities, new blessings, and new breakthroughs are headed your way. Every blessing that has your name on it, you will receive. Every obstacle standing in the way of your destiny, you will overcome. Every enemy that rises up against you, you will defeat. You are on a path filled with abundant miracles. You have chosen to walk by faith, not by fear. With each step, you grow stronger. With each breath, you draw in greater blessings. The universe sees your faith and rewards you. By living above your fears, the universe responds by delivering everything on this higher plane of existence. All of your consistent effort to improve yourself each day is about to pay off. Miracles are just around the corner. I have equipped you with strength for every battle. No weapon formed against you will ever succeed. You haven't seen, heard, 
or even imagine the amazing things I have in store for you and your family. Believe today that things are changing in your favor. I have blessed and protected you in the past, and I will do it again in the future. As David said in Psalm 23 verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. When God brings you through opposition, he's not going to do it in private, he's going to do it where all your enemies can see it. The doubters, the critics, and the people who said it wouldn't work out, they're going to see you blessed, healed, promoted, vindicated, and in a position of honor and influence. God said in Genesis 28 verse 15, I will be with you constantly until I have finished giving you everything I promised. God is telling you today, everything I've promised you is on the way. Healing is on the way, promotion, freedom, vindication, and blessings. Get ready for God to show up in your life in a big way. I believe and declare that new doors are about to open, problems are turning around, and dreams are coming to pass. My precious little heart, these worries, anxieties, and fears are not worth your tears. They are only clouds trying to hide your radiant light. Remember, child, all these problems are already solved. In time, I will show you how it turns out, but for now, consider it a stormy adventure. Move towards knowing that you can move mountains and walk on water, for I am with you. I will strengthen you and help you, I will always uphold you by my right hand. I love you, my little sunshine. We are with you, sending you love today. Give us your worries and fears, for they are heavy and weigh you down. Allow us to bring peace and happiness to your heart, a big, positive shift is in the works for you. You will soon be presented with an opportunity that could change your entire life. Are you ready? Type 1111 if you believe in God. You are a child of God, and you must stop giving away your power to others. Life is too short to let your happiness depend on how someone else treats you. Don't place your happiness in their hands, because you can't control what they do, but you can control what you do. Put on your spiritual armor and get ready for you have a destiny to fulfill and an assignment to accomplish. You can't be your best self if you're constantly upset, offended, and trying to get even with people. Let it go, God is your vindicator. Today is a powerful day, a time when miracles are entering your life. You are a magnet for abundant new opportunities and relationships. You are about to experience a quantum leap, a major shift in your circumstances. What you thought would take a long time to manifest will happen much quicker than you expected. This is a day to deliberately call in the blessings you desire. Visualize exactly what you want to bring into your life. Sometimes I take you on a journey that you didn't know you needed, in order to bring you everything you've ever wanted. Trust in God's plan for your life. God is saying to you today, I am working for you. Heaven is holding conversations about you, and angels have been assigned to you. Be at peace. God is also saying, this test you're facing is a blessing in disguise. The attack you're experiencing is just a stepping stone to something greater. After this, I will elevate you and bring you a new, blessed, and life-changing opportunity. Be encouraged this morning, for you are anointed and my favor is still upon you. Furthermore, God is telling you, you've waited, cried, prayed, and persevered. Now you're about to experience blessings and breakthroughs in every area of your life. God is also saying, for every teardrop, for every sleepless night, for every betrayal, for every time you sacrificed so your loved ones could have, I have a blessing for you. 
you're coming out of this. And finally, God is reassuring you, everything will work out. I'm in complete control. Relax and let me finish what I have started in your life. Today, remember to trust God completely with his plan for your life. You may not understand why he's allowing certain things to happen or why he's leading you down a particular path, but he never asked us to understand his ways, only to trust him. So leave the understanding to him, and you just focus on doing your part, which is to trust him. You are so incredibly worthy, and you deserve to be happy. Your life is valuable and full of importance. Don't waste your energy worrying, use your energy to believe. Drop an Amen if you believe in the Lord Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is speaking to you, saying, I know you feel like you're moving forward, but you can't see the way. It's hard to face what's in front of you, and you don't know where to turn. But I am with you, guiding you. I believe in you. I will open doors that you cannot open yourself, and this season will make your faith stronger, not weaker. I will bless you daily, even on the hard ones. People will call you many names. At times, they will point to your faith in me as a defect, and at other times, they will praise you, claiming you are a powerful part of this world. Child, look at Daniel, everyone called him the chief of the magicians and proclaimed him the third highest ruler in the kingdom. But Daniel's heart was not moved by it all, he was faithfully serving the authority while keeping his heart open only to my words. In the same way, child, never fall into the trap of idolatry. Remember, you are a citizen of my kingdom, so remain humble and always listen to what I say about you, and in turn, I will overflow your cup with my blessings. What is meant for you is manifesting with ease. There is nothing outside of yourself that you need to chase. You are matching your vibration to what is aligned with your soul. The people, opportunities, and experiences that you need in order to step into your higher self are unfolding in divine order. You are about to enter a season of miracles. It will appear to the outsider as good luck, but you know it was earned by your change in frequency. When God has a call on your life, no matter how hard you try to run away from it, God always has a way of bringing you back. Sometimes, God will allow you to lose friends, family, or the very thing you love the most. God will not sit and allow you to miss what he's called you to do. Everything that is holding you back, everything you have made Lord of your life, will have to let you go. God will chase you down until you submit. It was on those late nights when your heart was breaking, and in those still moments when your soul was aching, that I was faithful in keeping you from sinking, giving you a renewed strength like you never had before. Just as you opened your eyes this morning, I am opening doors for you. Keep the faith, and I will finish what I have started doing in your life. Loving yourself is learning how to leave yourself at the right moment in time, specifically, the version of you that is holding you back from being all that you can be and more. You're not the same person you used to be, and that's a miracle in itself. Your new energy is attracting new experiences, new relationships, and new opportunities to manifest your dreams. Don't look back unless you're admiring the growth you've made up to this point. Look forward. You're moments away from the breakthrough your journey needs. Today, God wants you to know that he has a purpose for your life that's greater than any mistake you may have made in life. He's not in heaven keeping tabs of the things you've done wrong, so why are you? Remember, it was Aaron who made the golden idol, and yet it was Aaron whom God made high priest. God's plans for Aaron's life didn't stop just because he did wrong. God still used Aaron, and he still wants to use you. 
you belong to him, not to the past. Remember, God's plan is always the best. Sometimes the process is painful and hard. But never forget, when God is silent, he's doing something for you. Never give up. There will always come a time when things get better. Remember, God is always with you, even when no one else is. Child, you are idolizing your performance to do good in my name. Although I do enjoy seeing you following the anointing, remain your focus on me. Contrary to cultural ideology, it's not the works that make you valuable or more lovable. Child, I already love you more than that. Bask in the luxury of understanding that you are loved fully and unconditionally, simply because you are mine. Remember, I am a jealous God, and what I long for the most is to spend time with you and deepen our relationship. Type, I love you, God.